What is cooking, guys? How are you today with my brother and my dad? Guys, we are doing for the first ever catch and cook crappie cook off. My brother and I are going to be cooking off our crappie, and uh, well, we've got to catch some first. We're gonna, hopefully, we catch some. My dad is going to be the judge, so we're going to put together the best dishes we possibly can, and then he is going to be the judge. And we're going to see who's the better catch and cooker. So let's do the catching first, and then we'll get to the cooking. So the bait of choice for me today are actually some lures sent to me by a subscriber named Bill Saison from Texas. Thank you so much, sir. There, because there are a ton of lures in here. First of all, check out all these crappie jigs. Look at that. We have some 16 ounce in all different kinds of colors. Then we have another one of them. Check out all of those. And then he says here, Ace, I am sending you some hand-tied jigs I made for crappie and bass. We get cats also on them. We do not have trout, and I would like to see you use them on some of your trips. Now, I will use some of these on trout, and I'll try some out here. But today we're going to use them for crappie, for the crappie catch and cook. He makes every single one of these jigs by hand, so thank you so much, sir. That is, this is amazing to have all these. We have a spoon here. That could come into play for some trout, definitely, or some bass, maybe some smallmouth here, all kinds of things. So thank you so much, Mr. Bill. I'm gonna tie some of these on. So check it out, guys. We have a triple threat going on here. I did not know which color I wanted, so I tied on a black and sour truce, a uh, red and white. This is the one I'm most excited about because I have crappie fish here before and caught uh, caught plenty on the uh, red on the red and white color anyway. And then we have a nice brown color with. On the, on the head of the jig is a little bit of red and gold flake. A triple threat, that would be cool to catch three crappie at once. We have caught doubles. I, have we ever caught triples here? I don't think we've ever we've Yeah, triples. we've never caught triple crappie, but anyway, let's get this down there. Guys, that is what we want right there. Look, that's a crappie ball. Just big school of crappie right there. That's what we're talking about. Got our lines down. Got one? Mike's got one, boys. Crappie first crappie of the Boom. trip. Nice. That's a small one, but it's a crappie. At least we're on, we're on the school, boys. Check that out. Nice. That's little black crappie looks like. Guys, check this out. We have a couple of floating like house docks here, which is really crazy because we're like out in the middle of Nowheresville. Like we're really far from any sort of town or anything. So to be have like a house, that's just crazy. And there's somebody in there that we just saw a guy a second ago. And then we have one right there too. That one has a grill we can see on it. So we're gonna fish under these, see if there's like spawning crappie or anything beneath them. On a rattle trap? All right, me ancient has one. A nice small mouth. On a rattle trap. Nice. Probably was nice than that, but I'll take it. He's a keeper, he's like 12 inches. Oh yeah. Guys, I got one right under that dock. My GoPro wasn't on. That's a big crappie. That's a big it's a big crappie. crappie. Right under that dock. That's oh, a man. Big crappie, dude. That's a big, you want the uh, No, I think I got him. I mean, it's, a, it's bigger than mine. We'll put it that way. Dude, nice. yes. Nice. First big crappie of the trip. Right under that dock, guys. I knew we should have come over here. Look at that. Devoured that handmade jig. I was using the brown one right there. Thank you so much, sir. And look at that, guys. First crappie of the day. Micah, you got to get one now, man. I yeah. guess you got to get one bigger than your little one. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, yes, yes. So we've come to this spot here where uh, nothing else under those docks. Just that one big slab crappie, which that happens. We'll catch like the biggest crappie of the day all by itself. But we're looking for schools on the depth finder. All right, guys, I cannot resist in the back of this cove. If you guys watch the members only video, by the way, shameless plug members only uh, that was a terrible cast if you guys want to see extra content make sure you click that join button down below for $4.99 a month you get to see all the extra videos anyway if you're a member you saw the other day that we we're catching tons of bass on topwaters in the back of coves let's see if they're back here there's like a tire right over there I thought it was a hippopotamus now Pops, you got one on your crappie jig. I saw it popping. Don't think it's a crappie. <laughs> yep, it is. Oh, it's a huge crappie. It's a huge crappie. Come on. Pops has a nice crappie here. Come on. Yes! 
Woo-hoo. You see how I worked it? <laughs> you, you just <laughs> set that down. I set it down to you grab said, another one. To grab another fishing rod? <laughs> Guys, it's been a slow day of crappie yeah, fishing. It's been, a slow day. it's been like really, really slow. Or we just don't know what we're doing out here. There we go. Maybe other people. Yeah, we've we caught some sl- a couple of slabs, but that's a really nice one. Oh, the old man has one, guys. Whoa, and it's a nice smallie on a rattle trap. Man. Very nice. That red rattle trap strikes again. Nice. Pretty fish. Mm-hmm. Guys want to eat a bass? Uh, I'm good. I'd rather catch crappie. <laughs> Do you want to hit Brownlee River or do you want a daytime capture? I got one. Nice fish. I doubt this is a crappie. You have catfish on? Ace has got a nice one. Oh boy. One thing is this is light line, light rod, oh. so. You need the net, bruh? <laughs> I might for this one. Oh, yeah, that's a nice bass. Oh, nice. Fish is down like 20, 25 feet of water. Woohoo! Thanks, Pops. Guys, look at that. Nice smolly. That pink worm. I have a little, uh, it's actually part of a robo worm. I just cut in half because I'm trying to figure out some, what's what's these uh, crappie want and put on a little jig head and that nice small mouth bit right there. All right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to put this small mouth since the crappie finches has been a little bit slow. We're going to put the small mouth in there for now. I got one. Go another. It's a perch. Dude, big perch. Look at that. Now that will eat good. Beautiful little yellow perch. Again, on that same lure right there, little robo worm. Yeah, it's like that pink colors. Getting them. Two fish and two casts. We'll add him to the live well. Well, guys, it is the middle of the day, and we just took a little break. Um, the fishing's been quite slow this morning. In fact, very slow yeah. for Brown Lake. Anyway, but we're, we're, doing, we're doing okay. Not too we bad. have to catch a few more, but we dropped my dad off down, back to RV because he wanted a nap. We were supposed to cook up a crappie lunch, uh, and that hasn't really... Didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So uh, we're going to turn it into a crappie dinner. Mike and I are going to fish for a couple more hours, try to catch a few more fish. But before we move on, Father's Day, guys, is coming up at the filming of this video anyway when you watch it. Anyway, Father's Day is coming up, and if you need a great gift for your dad, check out Ridge Wallow. I'll put a link to them in the description, guys. This is what I got my dad last year. It is a small metal wallet. This is the burnt metal version. They have carbon fiber. They have all kinds of chic metal wallets. Check them out in the description below. All kinds of great gifts, ideas. They have so many cool leather phone cases, gray leather, brown leather, so many cool colors. They also have bags and just all kinds of great gifts for your dad. It can be for Father's Day or for his birthday. Check them out in the description below. Micah has one. Don't forget to use 10 Ace at checkout to get 10% off. And Mike has a fish. It is a smallmouth. Nice. There you go. I mean, not what we were looking. Not what we're but after. Still, but still, you know. It's been tough, man. Tough. Got to get those crappie. Yeah, I know. What's? I'm the... actually tired of catching bass. Yeah. That's like your like 15th bass when, today. When you're using jigs in <laughs> smallmouth country, undoubtedly you will just catch the entire smallmouth country. Yep, there they are. Boys, they are right below our feet. Look at that. That's a ball of crappie right there. If I ever saw one, that's that's a good school of fish right there. Let's see if we can get him to actually bite though. <laughs> Got him. Please be a crappie. It is a little one. <laughs> well, yes. there's some bait. There's some catfish bait. There we go. Well, Check. at least we're on him. <laughs> ah. Oh, ouch. Oh. Almost flipped him in the water. Are we on a school of tiny ones, maybe? They're getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> I won't keep this guy. He- well, that is a tough day of fishing right there, guys. However, the day of fishing is not over, and we do have a few catches here. Probably let that smallmouth go, but we have a couple crappie. A couple nice crappie, a couple baby crappie that we're going to use it for catfish later on tonight. But first, Micah, you ready to do this? Oh, dude, I'm so ready. I was born ready. So after talking, Mike and I are actually going to let this smallie go. We're just going to eat crappie because I think and we're, we're both planning on, hopefully, catching some big uh, catfish this evening.
All right, guys, welcome to the first ever cook-off on this channel. The fish of the day is crappie. Time starts now. Boom. Bro, you know I'm gonna win because I'm his favorite son. In this zip bag, I'm gonna pour some of this fish fry. Then in this vial, I have some secret spices that I'm gonna put in there. Take a couple of these fillets. I gave Micah the fillets with the bones in. Hey, that's not a fillet. <laughs> I'm all about fresh, bro. I'm all about making it fresh. Up? I'm grinding up my salt and pepper as we speak, brother. All right, got my salt and pepper ground up. All right, so I've added my flour here. I'm also gonna throw some salt and pepper that I ground up right in there. We're gonna add some garlic powder to bless you. Our dry mix here. Asa starts to sneeze when he gets nervous. A little classic olive oil. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on it. And here's the kicker. We're also gonna be adding some butter in with that. Well, you're going full-throated on the butter, brother. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna test see if our oil is hot enough real quick. We're just going to... Oh yeah, it's good. It's gonna lay the fillets. Boom, right in there. That fillet. All right guys, so what I wanna do with my fillets, I actually just wanna sprinkle this on. I don't wanna... We're gonna kinda rub it on these fillets, gently massage it into the meat. Drop these fillets in. Two. We're gonna garnish this with some tomato, a little fresh cilantro. That'll be good just to have a little bit of that. Remove the fish, it is golden brown and it is falling apart. Let that drip dry and I'm gonna set it in the paper towels to absorb the extra oils. All right, guys, I ran out of fuel. Guys, small emergency. My canister ran out. I am prepared. That back on there and start to cook. All right, guys, we flipped our fish. We're gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes like that. And then we should be just about ready to go. Now, guys, I'm gonna take some of these corn tortillas and I'm gonna brown them. I'm gonna slice up a little bit of tomato here. And then our tortilla, let's see if it's good in, oh yeah, just a little bit brown and crispy. That's what I'm looking for right there. I'm falling apart over here. <laughs> my fish is falling apart. All right, guys, my fish is kind of crumbling over here. And to the tortilla shell and add some mayo. We're basically gonna make a little uh, tartar sauce. Then I'm going to add the fresh tomatoes to it and then let's add this fresh fried fish. All right, like I mentioned, the sauce is the boss in this one. So we're gonna add our wine. Then we're gonna go some lemon juice. The sauce is what's hopefully gonna make this dish and I'm gonna need it too because my fish fell apart a little bit on me and I think I wasn't ready for those small fillets. It's cooked, fell apart, but I gotta really make sure that this sauce is good. I was gonna throw some of our basil in there, fresh basil leaves, add some butter to this. I'm gonna let that melt and that will be our sauce. Add just a little bit of that salt and pepper in here. I'm a little bit worried about that. We're gonna drizzle that over our fish, just like so. Garnish it with a little green onion there. That'll have to do. We'll see. And there we go, guys. There are the two dishes facing off. Here we go. Pops, since uh, in honor of, uh, of, of you loving tacos, I made for you today a zesty Louisiana kitchen taco. Wow, that looks really good. All right. That's good. Whatever the sauce around it is, <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh -oh. Fish is good, of course, but mm. Mm -hmm. oh good, boy. good amount of fish to, the, to everything else. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I, oh like the, boy. I like those results. All right, Pops, and for you, I have just mm. a straight salt and pepper garlic battered crappie with a wine lemon butter sauce over the top. Wow. Topped with green onions, cilantro, and tomato. Wow, that sounds good. It smells good. Mmm. Okay, here's what I gotta do. I wanna try this again, then I'll try a bite of the other. 
That's fair. Right, yeah, right next to each other. I think he just wants to feast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I want some of this crappie. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Out there. Mm. It's a beautiful scene. Okay. Sets perfectly with some white wine, lemon butter crappie. <laughs> <laughs> That's real elegant. This is real like. Mm. Mm. Elegance versus just like hands-on man food do you, kind of uh, a thing. Do you need a minute to decide? Yeah, give me just a minute. Let me think about it. Mm. So here's here's my final verdict. They're both really good. I wouldn't turn any of them down ever. Dude, I'm nervous. Mm. I am nervous right now. Mm -hmm. The one thing on my fish, the batter, tasted was like a little grainy. Micah's, the, the fish got a little, um, it didn't crisp up at all, so it's a little more mealy. The taste is great, but the texture isn't quite there. I, I'm really glad that I tasted my fish before I served it to him because it wasn't salty enough at mm. all. In fact, I, right at the end, I just like poured salt over top of it to hoping, you know, like hoping that that like, I should have mixed it with the batter. I thought right. the batter would be salty enough, but it's been a long time since I cooked with that particular kind. So uh, yeah, I hope I hope mine's salty enough for him. Uh, his, the, the wine sauce and everything is really, really good. The taste is good, but this has the taste and the texture. All right. All right. So, all right. So here's the deal. Here's what I said, basically. Ace of one. Ah. And I'll tell you why. Ah. The the sauce with this made the made the fish a little bit. Uh, it, it it was just kind of. Um, um, <laughs> Jeez. It was um, kind of meat, mealy, or it was wasn't it grainy. Good, well, it just didn't have a good texture. Mm -hmm. This, I think because of the shell and the fry, had that have been fried a little more, that taste is so good. And I also said that the cilantro, I think, could have been cut up so I could enjoy the cilantro with it without having it hanging all over. Oh, so, okay. Fan, both tasted, mwah, but the, the texture on this won out. Well, bro, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you. Should we try each other? Yeah, dude, let's, let's give it a go. I wanna, I wanna give this, give it. congratulations. Sweet. Guys, thank you for inviting me. You out. are I, welcome. I, anytime you want me to judge anything <laughs> food-wise, I'll be happy Dang to it. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, put a like down below and we will do another one. In fact, if this video reaches like, say, 5,000 likes, we'll do another one for sure. We'll oh, do definitely. catfish and we'll pick a different fish or something. Go out, catch it, and do another cook-off. So, yeah, let's sweet. do it. Sweet. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. Don't forget to check out Micah's channel. I'll put a link to it in the description as well as the card right up here. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>